Do, 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 do. All right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of the Poor Man Road to Glory. Another day in the life of the Poor Man Road to Glory. Uh, yesterday, we achieved our target of unlocking Mr. Mensch. Or was that yesterday or was that the day before? I, I, I honestly can't remember. And now the game's frozen. And we're back. Um, anyways, we got to use him in a couple of games. We finished off our champs run and hit an absolutely nuts pull. I don't want to sound like a hater here, but um, I don't even know if I'd say he's worth two and a half million. I don't know. I'm going to have to give it a little bit more time. Again, even saying it out loud sounds absolutely crazy, but we've only played three games with the card. So I'm, I'm assuming he's going to start banging goal. Well, not banging goals, but banging in the tackles. He definitely can score. It's more so the positioning... Uh, off the ball. But I mean, that also doesn't make sense because he's 99 everything. Where's Pinaldo's pals? So to complete this squad that we built yesterday, uh, we're missing one crucial spot, which is right wing for Bernardo Hilva. And then this team is pretty gangster. I can't lie. I would argue though, that we don't actually have a true DM. So that's problematic in and of itself. I haven't really been able to get, or I don't think there's been a really good Paulinha yet. He'd be perfect. Okay, you guys are going to help me out with this. Let's just get this um, this Mario completed from an 87 to a 95. So he's ready to roll. I mean, realistically, what I should probably be grinding next, I got nine days to do all of these. Th tomorrow, we're going to find out what the reward is for the Portugal Champs run. I almost guarantee you it will be, will be a Brazilian player. Or I should be getting to work on um, the defensive one, which is... I should be getting to work on Casemiro because I do not have a proper DM for Brazil. And this Casemiro, have you guys seen this Casemiro card? I know it's another Man United player, which is disgusting. But look at this card as a DM. Catalyst is a waste because his passing is so good. Shadow is a waste because his defending is so good. So I'll definitely need him for the Brazil setup. But I have 16 days, so I'm not really in a rush. Whereas the other guys expire a bit quicker. So I think maybe we'll start on uh, Olise. Holy moly! Where the hell did he come from? Why does it have to be an English player though, bro? Oh my god. Alright, well that's game time, boys. I mean, I know it's kind of wasteful, but I feel like you almost gotta give him um, either an engine or an anchor, right? Would an engine... No, an engine is a waste too. Look at that. Look at those passing stats for the love of god. What do you give this card? You just give him an anchor. Unfortunately, it's a probably going to be a Portugal weekend league setup, so I won't be using him this weekend. How much is that Trent by the by the way? 800k. Nice, damn, bro. I mean, people got mad at me using my mimic in the Elden Ring DLC, dude. I was st still stuck on a boss for about five hours. I will admit some areas in Elden Ring suck, though. That that area where you get insta killed by those fire orb losers, that area that I was stuck in for like five hours, and then I got stuck on that boss for five hours, that area does suck. It reminds me of a couple of the Souls areas that I always hated. The dungeons, and not the dungeons, but like the, the jails and the dark gloomy areas. It's, every Souls game has an area that sucks ass, and I think they mean to make it suck. But uh, anyways, 6 p.m. content, boys. Let's see, uh, let's see what we got. We already packed a million coin? Ish, Trent, make your mark card. Am I blind? Where is it? I just logged out though. Do I have to log out and log back in again? So no, it is tomorrow. I was right that the 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 objective gets dropped tomorrow. I should time out the people in the chat that constantly give false information while making me feel like an idiot when I'm the one that's right every time. Anyways, so no objective content, no uh, Evo content. There's... There's... There's no way they now give this company... I... I don't want to get mad. And I shouldn't get mad. But this company is the worst company ever. They had all of last week to give us this Montiel during the Argentinian objective. They had all of the, the, the last week before the Argentinian champs objective to give this to us. And... Oddly, we could have really benefited now from a Portuguese defender. And instead of giving us a Portuguese defender, they give us an Argentinian defender. Okay. <clears throat> so, like, instead of a flashback or end of era Pepe, 95 rated again for the Portuguese setup, we get a random Scottish chick flashback card. Earn a flashback Kim Little celebrating her contribution to qualifying Scotland for the first ever Women's World Cup in 2019. Now, 
I'm sure Nep will be happy about this. This is a cool card, at least. At least it's a cool card, and it looks like she might be relatively cheap, too. Yeah, okay. So that's a cool card. Okay. So I need to bring the Twitch chat back and the alerts back. Tomorrow is when we get the... Tomorrow is when we get the Portugal objectives. Amen. That's just a fact. Another one. It was supposed to drop today. They forgot it. They've done it again where they don't give us a six-win goalkeeper. They did it with England. They didn't do it with Argentina. Everyone lost their mind. So what do they do for Portugal? They don't do it again. Wait! Rui Patricio! Who's that? Oh my god! So the Argentina thing was legit a mistake. They just didn't do it. You see, when you call out EA for their stupidity, they make the mistakes. They fix it if you call them out. What do you think if all of us didn't call them out? Dude, if not, this is what I mean about all you guys crying at me, complaining, and bringing up EA's mistakes to their attention. Dude, just quit the game, man. You're not actually boycotting them if you don't quit the game. Just stop complaining and quit the game. No! I call them out on their stupidity, so at least for the freaking champs objectives for goddamn Portugal, we now have a sensible goalkeeper for six wins. Now we need to keep calling them out on releasing an Argentinian defender when we've already completed it and we need a Portuguese defender. You know, one step at a time. Who's the, uh, who's the winner? Was it USA, guys? I'm gonna be so mad that I just got rid of Nice Wang. Oh, it's Brazil, okay. Oh, wait, no, Gabrielle's team of the season. Oh my, no, there you go, it's Gabrielle, Jesus. There you go. So next week, it's Brazil, boys. Yet another Arsenal player. Arsenal players have about 5,000 specials, but that's okay. De Bruyne to Lukaku, De Bruyne to Lukaku, 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 rare mega pack, Lukaku, terrible shot. We got one! Who the hell? We got one, boys! The daily rare mega pack pays out! Erupt! That means I owe you guys another game. I hate my life, but oh well. Did they finally put the objective out, boys? Oh, is it out? Okay. So they just forgot to post it. All right, let's get confirmation that this is a super big W from EA, man. They finally listened to us. They finally have brought back the proper grind needed. So the reward is... There he is. Gabrielle is the reward, boys. Next week is Brazil. Wait. Makes tournament debut. Wait, why does... It... This is a Path to Glory card, right? Copa... Okay, hold on. This is a Copa America Path to Glory, yet they put Make Your Mark objectives in it. This is a Path to Glory card based off of wins, and yet they gave him the Make Your Mark objectives. Anyways, let's just try and focus on the positives. They know they've screwed up, I'm sure, so let's just focus on the positives. He looks like a great card. Definitely worth the effort, I think. But let's see, so the grind is the same, right? So play three, you get a 83 by three. Wait, play six. Play six in any Champions game mode so not only do you need, you don't need six wins, you don't need to even play six in champs. Hey, EA. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you right now, I don't want to give you too much credit. I don't want to give myself too much credit, but this is why we call out when EA do the dumbest things ever, like they did with the Argentina objective last week. Not only do EA fix their mistakes from last week and give us a goalkeeper for six wins games like we did for England, right? Not only that, but they make it actually even more accessible. So you just got to play six games in playoffs with a full Portuguese team. So the XP thing, I think we drop, boys. We got to get this guy before champs. I think the XP thing we drop. So I, I already spent 70k on Carvalho. So this is going to be 200k to make this Carvalho. Don't forget, right? It's going to cost me 200k to make this card. He looks okay, but it's going to cost me 200k. Whereas... If I go here, this is going to cost me 100k because this guy's already in the club. Like, look at how good that card is, man. Yeah, power shot and some would even argue relentless is completely useless for a defender. 99 reactions, 93 composure. Uh, with an anchor, he'll have 99 sprint speed, 93 acceleration. With an anchor, he'll have all 99s defending, all 99s physical. He needs relentless with 78 stamina. True. Actually, relentless is very good. The one that's a waste is power shot. If I could have like anticipate or intercept instead of it, that's the move, but I'm doing it. I don't care. All good, boys. Coins are there to be spent. I like it, boys. I like it, man. 
Project Portugal begins now. So the cool thing is, I mean, we don't even need wins. So that's nice. Well, no, we do need wins. How many wins do we need for the first stage of the Evo? Is it three? One win. Very nice. Hello and thanks for joining us. Oh yeah, I gotta run a Portuguese uh, setup, I guess, boys. We gotta run an Obrigado setup! Okay, so ain't nobody running Portugal. <laughs> well, it looks like nobody's running Portugal this weekend. That's for sure. Let's go, Chrissy. Let's go, Chrissy. Need one more goal for that Portugal objective, by the way. Let's go, Chrissy. All right, that's the Portuguese thing done. Too much power. My fault. That's poor for me, guys. That's poor for me. Obrigado! Vamos, Portugal! Sorry. Uh, bom dia! Yeah, this Jota is horrible, though. I gotta get someone other than this Jota in here real fast. Should I hate my life and try this Rui Costa? I am going to hate myself if I use this card, right, guys? Now, Zhao Felix at Cam. 99 dribbling, 89 balance, 96 agility. So you look at all this, it looks like he's going to be amazing at dribbling and amazing at finishing. And I guarantee you on the pitch, he's going to make me want to rip my own sausage off. Just like every other time I've ever used this card. I hope I'm wrong. Welcome to you, and thanks for joining us for Thomas. I'm playing fucking Thomas. Does Thomas have a Portuguese squad? All right, Thomas, let's go shot for shot. Let's go, man. Oh my God, that Ronaldo. All right, that's one. That's hilarious. Of course, I can see that should be two nothing up. That's my fault. Okay, so I have a 85 goalkeeper that might be worse than Thomas's 78 rated goalkeeper. Like that's, I repeat, that's a 78 rated goalkeeper. That's, I repeat, that's a 70. Handball, by the way. <laughs> this game is so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> it's the worst game I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> what the hell is your keeper up to? The kindest way to call it is that this game is moronic. His passing is so bad that he basically can't do anything. <clears throat> Dude, this Jose Sa is outrageous. I can't, I don't think I've ever seen a keeper move that quick. Me and Thomas are about 100 kilometers apart from each other, and I'm not kidding you, this is the worst delay I've ever played in in my life. Look at that. I, like, I don't think my goalkeeper's made a save. I have an 85 rated inform goalkeeper, and Thomas's 78 rated gold goalkeeper has made 10 saves. Okay, Thomas, I love you, bro, but I may have just sent you back to Kelowna, dude, with that one. Oh my god. <laughs> Costa's so bad. Alright, GG, Thomas. Come on, man. It's been a good day, a lot of crazy football. Some pretty bad refereeing, I'd have to say. Come on. Show me something juicy here. 
Would have loved to see Canada. Why, why are these packs so terrible, by the way? This guy will help me complete the, uh, the SBC, but we get our fourth or fifth Swazo of the week. I don't want Chilean players. They're the enemy of Canada right now. We have them, what? We play them on Sunday, I think? Okay, so let me throw Suwazo into this BP, and then that will be the final thing we do for the Epi. 88 rated squad. There it is. All right, boys. It is time to get a Ruben D's Nuts 97 rated Path to Glory card. You heard it here first. It's going to be crazy. I'm getting a Path to Glory. I don't want to make your mark or a make your mark plus, please. Thank you very much. Who's that? 94 Ozcan. All right, rip. Um, what's that? No, I don't want that. I mean, it could still be a good one, though. It's not. It's, it's King Ugarte. It's not, guys. Hey, guys, it's not a good one. Okay. Come on. I guess Ozcan can still get upgraded, right? Turkey are still in it. Give me a path to glory, please. No! No! Who the hell? Machado, bruv? Fucking Machado. What? Oh, what a terrible set of picks that is. GG's Georgia for qualifying, man. What a result for them. Georgian fans about to have the party of their freaking lives. Anyways, boys, thank you guys for watching. I think I might end up going with Ozcan, I guess. Turkish dude looks like a bit of a beast. Um, goals and assists for him look to be damn near impossible. But I think he looks to be a little bit better than this Machado guy, right? Although I do need to do the Columbia stuff. So Machado would be a good option for the Columbia stuff. All right. Well, on that incredibly boring bombshell, hopefully you guys enjoyed the grind today. We did get, as mentioned, a Trent Alexander-Arnold tomorrow, some great rewards, and continue grinding with the Portugal squad. Tonight, I'll do some of the XP grind to get ourselves closer to that Bernardo Hilva. So lots to do before the start of Champs and the start of the new promo on Friday, where we're going to have an insane amount of huge packs to open. We'll catch you guys tomorrow, starting at 7 a.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. UK, at least for the live stream. Love you. Catch you on the flip side. Peace.